Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at freshwater biomes. The Earth has lots of water on it. However, only about 2.5% of it is fresh water. This fresh water can be broken down into several biomes, including ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, and wetlands. Plants and animals in these freshwater biomes are adapted to the low salt content of freshwater and are unable to survive in areas of high salt concentration. Salt water is 30 to 50 parts per thousand salt water, where fresh water is only 0.5 parts per thousand. Let's take a look at these fresh water biomes. Rivers and streams. The water in rivers and streams flow in one direction, beginning at the source called a headwater, and traveling to the mouth where the flowing water empties into a larger body the slope of the landscape determines the direction and speed of the water flow. When the slope is steep, water flows quickly. When it is not steep, the water slows down. The currents and turbulence of fast-moving rivers and streams prevents much accumulation of organic material in these fast-moving rivers. Lakes and ponds are inland bodies of water. They can be as small as a few square meters, or as large as a couple thousand square miles. Some ponds might even be filled with water for only a few weeks or months each year, where some lakes have existed for hundreds of years. Wetlands are areas that are saturated with water, either all year or for long periods of time. A marsh, swamp, thin, and bog are all considered wetlands. A marsh is known for the grass and reeds found in it. Swamps contain trees, and bogs and fens are peat-producing wetlands and are dominated by moss. In a marsh and swamp, you will find frogs, snakes, and gators. If you'd like to know more about some freshwater biomes, this playlist should help. And thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.